Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. It is time for guest number two today. And uh, I mentioned that BYU women's basketball had figured out a way to get Lauren Gustin back. Well, they've also figured out a way to get John Wardenberg back, the great assistant coach after working so many years with Steve Cleveland and Dave Rose went out and was gone for the better part of a decade. Now you're back, Coach. Welcome back to BYU. Thank you. I, I, I can't explain to you how excited I am and how grateful I am to Amber and, and the administration for hiring me. But it's, it, I, I love BYU. I love what it stands for. I, I've seen it and, you know, the culture here change the lives of so many young men that I coached here and, and to have this opportunity to, to work here again and to help coach these young ladies is it's beyond words quite honestly. How have you overcome having to work with Lee Kamard so far? <laughs> well that's a hard that's a hard thing and uh, he's a hard guy to get along well, with. Well you know I, I actually <laughs> recruited him and yes, uh, uh, you know but he we have a great great staff mm -hmm. and it starts with Amber and uh, she has, uh, we have, you know, Morgan Bailey is a, is a star in her own right. Yeah. And, and, and Lee and then our, our Dobo, Natalie and Autumn, uh, Amber's assistant and Josh. It, it's a great staff and, and they're winners and that's, I'm, I'm fortunate to be part of it. When did the conversation begin for you to potentially come back and do this again? Well, I was out in Southern Virginia helping my son, and when I, when we drove back, my wife and I drove back at the end of that season. We, for the last seven years, we've kind of lived apart. The five years I was at Southern Utah, and then these two years, where she would stay here in Orem, and I would go and coach, and we'd come back and forth. And I just told her that, you know what, this is we're we can't do this anymore, and, and don't want to do this anymore. Well, as luck would have it a job opened up at at another school and they wanted to hire me well at the same time Amber approached me uh, just about two months ago and yeah. I ended up turning the other job down a couple times but but this process here you know BYU works a little bit slowly than some places anyway long story short I got a lot of side-eye looks from my wife like what are we doing what are we doing and it was Tremendous uh, when Amber finally called and said, hey, let's do this. And, and you know, it's been full bore since. Well, it's good to have you back. We were both in school the last time you were here. Right. Things have changed quite a bit, including this building, this well, show, this the annex. What are some of the biggest differences? Well, obviously the annex, you know, that practice facility. And we were laughing before we came on air. Back in the day, Jimmer and 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 Jonathan Tavinari and, and all the guys and Tyler, they'd have to have the right shirt on and the right <laughs> wristband and all this kind of Richards stuff building. to get in the RB and then there'd be emails coming like, oh, what are we doing? It, it, he doesn't have a right shirt on. <laughs> and now, you know, guys and gals can come up to the mm -hmm. annex, shoot anytime. They have 24-7 access. And and then obviously this beautiful building here, it's it's that alone is just tremendous how, how different it is but it's it's all for the students and all for the guys and and the gals and it it, it it's going to help these programs tremendously this is such a unique challenge as BYU enters into a power five conference mm -hmm. and there's good women's basketball in the big yes, 12 and certainly that's led by Texas and Oklahoma at least for one year but then there's kind of this open space of like okay who's going to step in and be the dominant team but what do you think about BYU competing in women's basketball in the big 12 specifically oh I, I'm I'm excited Spencer I really am just to, I mean again I had no idea that I'd be working here at BYU two months ago. <laughs> and when we came back, we came back from uh, Virginia. I, I, I watched BYU women's basketball play live, I think, five games. The WCC tournament, the NIT, WNIT game, the Portland game uh, they played. They had to make up on a Monday yep, night. Yeah, I yeah, watched yeah. that game. And, and the, the, the basis is here for competitive competitive basketball championship basketball the girls that are coming back obviously getting Lauren back is I mean you you asked over there like 
Who's not getting enough credit? Are you kidding me? Lauren Gustin, 16.6 rebounds a game. Amazing. Amazing. Incredible. Like, it, it, that number alone, if it, all time, that puts her in the top 10 women of all time, but top 20 men all time. I mean, just that alone. Super legit. But then you add in all the, the girls the, 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 that were adding to this team, top 40 players in the nation, girls that have uh, competed you know, transfers that have played significant minutes at their schools, and uh, we have a base, and and I I think it will be sooner rather than later that we're competing mm -hmm. for championships. I, I I believe that. So you recruited uh, a chubby kid from a small school in New York named James Taft for debt. Um, <laughs> been to Glens Falls a couple of times. There's not a ton there, right? No. What there is is uh, Barry Melrose. And Jimmer Fredette. Yeah. What was it about him that caught your eye, other than 2,000 points, obviously, in high school? But here, the, here the, this kid is that's out of New York, and he became something incredible. Could you have imagined sort of what he'd become, and what was his recruitment like? Shot maker. Just made shots. Uh, uh, from the minute I saw him as a freshman in a, a little gym in Houston, Texas, I was like, this dude can make shots. And... He's just continued, just how competitive and how I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better, and he did. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you saw him Sunday, he missed that shot. Oh. That, that thing was in and oh, out. In right a couple there. of times it looked yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, it, it just, and, and just a great person. He's just a great person. But, uh, you know, would I ever thought he won the Wooden Award? Probably not, <laughs> but he just is like Tyler. We talked about yep. those dudes. They master their craft, and Jimmer was as good of anybody I've ever coached at doing that. Yeah, you've recruited some great players on the men's side, mm -hmm. and we're excited that you're back to help Thank Amber you. and women's basketball. Oh, I'm excited too. We, like I've said, great things are ahead for us and and for all the sports programs here. But I, I'm telling you that watch us, watch this team play, watch these girls play. We're going to be, we're going to be very good. I love it. We're so, excited. Can't thanks. wait to watch. Thank thanks, you. Jeff. Here's to less travel for you. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, at least to the house. But uh, yeah, exactly. in, the, in the league, not, you know. In the league, it's worse. You yeah. missed the WC. Malibu was nice, yeah, but yeah. it's all good. No, that's all right. Been there before. Yes, yes you, you have. have. Yes, you have plenty of time. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, join us. For